Mmm, <laughs> yeah. Honey's gonna love this. Hey guys, we will do the official intro to the video when Honey gets home. Yo, welcome on. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Pop St. Francis. And I'm the DC. All right, and you are part of the Francis's family. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the all post notification. And comment. And comment. And yeah. share. And share again. Okay? Yeah. So in this video, uh, we're just doing the introduction after the fact. When he was out, I was preparing something for him. And then he came home to the beautiful meal. All right. Yeah, did he enjoy that meal? Absolutely. I did. What was the meal? Aki. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> the, the sardine. The sardine in a rondo. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Honey's out now. He goes out every morning to um, pastors, Bible workers meeting to pray and fast and strategize so that they can empower and encourage men and women in the Cayman Islands to give their hearts to the Lord. So while he's away, well, background is that things have been very, very busy, extremely busy. So I took a little time, my lunch time from work, and I'm going to cook something for him. And I want you to come along with us as we give you snippets throughout today. All righty. I am in the kitchen, so I'm going to do some. You're going to see. You're going to see. Let's see. In my hand, this is sardine in tomato sauce. But here's the thing with my husband. Very particular, very particular. That's why he doesn't eat um, from people a lot, you know, but um, or likes to do it. So, well, oh, he used to scratch me. <laughs> so, yeah, so he doesn't. Like sardine, I have to like scale it. You know, you're not scaling it, right? Because it's already scaled, but you have to do like a fish type of thing. Like fish, so I have to use the knife and scrape i think that's the word scrape the outside take out all the bones all the kind of outside part of it so i've already done that i'm gonna do some sort tomato in some sardine in tomato coconut jerk sauce it tastes delicious and with that i'm gonna fry some green plantain so let's cook together as honey comes i'm going to surprise him with the meal hopefully he comes before i go back into another training session So we just added the jerk sauce. I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes plantains and bananas are so hard to peel that I just like peel them by hand. I just cut them, like peel them with a knife. Is I, am I the only one? Sometimes I can't be bothered. I just peel them with a knife. So that's what I'm doing now. I bought these green plantains, but it seems as if they're getting a little ripe, but they're kind of tarnished, so they should still be able to be fried. Although I prefer, or they should be able to be fried still, although I prefer to do the green plantain. Honey loves this with the green plantain, but we'll make do. He loves green plantain, he loves the ripe plantain, so whichever. This one is easier to peel with the, with the hand, so that's good. Yeah, this one is a lot riper, so he'll have a mixture of tarnish ripe plantain. I've already washed them and dried them. All right, time to do the rest. So this has been simmering for about five minutes just to ensure that the coconut is cooked 
the coconut milk is cooked and then and that it assimilates very nicely with the with the tomato and the flavor of the mint is infused in the meal so this is done look at this ooh yeah honey's gonna love this cut these very thick is ready so I'm going to go ahead let me take up the garlic then the garlic the pegs of garlic may I take them up <laughs> so I'm going to add these to the oil because I want infused plantains seeing that they're kind of turn more to the green side I was hoping they would be like totally green but I have three one is totally green which is great and the other is more turnish so hopefully that tastes good with the garlic <laughs> but I'm going to add these to the oil and start frying. All right, so here you go. I was frying some planting in this oil before. We're going to move on to the other step. So we're going to take them out the oil, rest them on the tray there. No worries, you're gonna see what I'm gonna do with it. What you're going to do now, you're going to press them. Oh, let me use this instead. You're going to press them. Press them as flat as you can. It's kind of awkward because I have the camera in my hand. Let's press them out. I'll show you the finished product. It's kind of awkward to press with one hand. Let me turn on the oil, the stove. Yeah, it's kind of awkward to press with one hand. I wish Honey was here to help me, but I'll press and then show you what they look like and I'm going to refry them, all right? They're pressed now. So I'm going to take them and just... This one got a little bit of pressure. Put them back in the oil. A few moments later... Hi, my hubby. Hi. Welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> what was your day? There was engaging, but I'm grateful. Okay, I'm gonna share something for you now, okay? Okay. I made lunch for you. Thank you. You're then welcome. I'm hungry. All right. Use your meal, my love. Thank you. Appreciate it. You like it? Taste like it now, it. see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How it tastes? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I made it with a whole lot of love. Yeah, me taste it. Whole lot of love. Spice. Literally and figuratively. My God. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Okay. Alright, right. right, guys. I enjoyed my meal. It was delicious. Prepared with love. I could sense the love and the aroma. Mm. That was nice. I enjoyed myself. <laughs> you guys, believe me. Bye bye. Subscribe, like, share, comment. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah.